Hey, it's Gohario here, and today I'm going to make a Niku Niku Dance tutorial or NMD tutorial for basic things, just like for beginners. Things like how to download NMD and things you need to make it work, where to load models and how to move body parts and pose them, and where to find more models. Let's do this. Well, first of all, the first thing you need to do is download NMD. The place to decide to download that is called earnmnd.com. The link will be in the description. Uh, All right, we're here. Okay, the site has like a whole lot of stuff you need to write and do like tutorials and reading videos and stuff. But today we're gonna go to the downloads area, which is down the newest version. The newest version is usually always gonna be the first one, which is right now it's nine point six. Let's click this right here. Yep. Okay, now it's downloading. Shouldn't take that long. Open that after. All right, you can you can put this uh, folder. You can put that anywhere you want to. But time seconds could be put on my desktop. It'd be easier. For me. It'd like right here or something. I don't, I don't care. That might take a little while. But there's there's a good amount of stuff in there. Alright, now we have our Niku Niku Dance folder. And then this is the actual program to open it. And we double click that. And wait for it to open. Alright, it opened. Okay. And this is the interface for NMD. Now, when you first look at it, you're probably thinking, holy crap, where am I gonna start? I know that's what I was thinking when I first saw it. But, uh,. Once you get to know everything, it's really not that complicated. Uh, we'll take this like section by section, I guess. This is the model manipulation. It's where like you load models and make them disappear or whatever or whatever, stuff like that. For the camera, when you're in the camera light and accessory, this is how you move the camera. This is how you like register that. This is light, manip light manipulation. You're not going to use that very often. Unless you want to. Uh, this is shadow, you can leave that as it is, it's, it's good where it is, and this is accessories, we'll get to that later. Alright, to load a model, let's just click the load button right here. And uh, these are all the preset models, the default ones, you can you can find a whole lot more on the website, but uh, now let's just use, uh, just Kaito. It's cool. This is a model. <laughs> All right. So now that you've loaded your model, you're probably thinking, so what now? Okay, these little blue circles, these are all called bones. These are like the things that move the model, that connect them together like that. You can. There's two ways you can move you can move the model. You can either click a bone, then move it with these buttons to all the, the axes, the X, Y, and Z axis. Or you can use the rotate, and you can move the with these axes right here. But uh, these can be relative to what you're looking at, though, not relative to, to them. That's why it would be different. But I like this better because it gets it feels more specific where where you want to move it. But uh, I would just like pose the models in different poses just to get the feel of them. You pose them like mo like poses like uh like this or like this or even or even this but some things i like to point out are that uh these square not the circles ones the square ones are different than the circle ones these ones are usually or the ones that are between his legs here or between his legs here for models are usually the ones that control the entire thing like that you were spin it it's been all the entire body because it's all connected to it if you were to the so button here says select all, then you select everything. If you spin it now, it spins the entire body. This way, you can also use the move button to move it this way too. This way, that way. Or you can use the move here to move yourself. But yeah. It's kind of the same thing for the legs too. But you don't have to select all to move them. This, these legs, the square ones here, they're called IK bones. You don't have to really know that for now, but uh... If you're to move them, move them, you have to move, you can't move them using the rotation buttons, you have to use, move them using the move sliders. 
one movement that's moving like that. You can disable that and move it with these things if you go down here and just basically just de uh, turn, click on any of these, just turn all these off and click a register app. Okay, hold on. Oops. I'm slow. Oh my god, I'm slow. Okay, now if you're to move them, you disable the IK bone, now it's a normal bone there. And can move like a normal foot. Move the knee you too. But yeah, that's the basics of how to move the model. You're probably wondering how to actually animate the model, like move it that way. It's really not that hard for real, bro. I'm just gonna start off with a simple like waving animation. When we finish, it should look something like Ooh, look. look something like this. Oops. <laughs> like that. And we finish. Um, the good thing about MMD is that it's not frame by frame animation, it's pose to pose animation, which makes animating 3D stuff so much easier. To put it into basic terms, think of it this way. Right now at zero, his, his motion, his body looks like this. If we go to, oh wow, maybe it doesn't. Okay. okay body looks like that. That's his motion for zero. When we go to 15, no, let's go to 25 frames and we move his arm right here. So that right here is good. It means when he gets to 25 frames when you register it, his body is going to look like that. So when you move from zero to 25, it's going to slowly move by itself. It's like a keyframe. It is keyframe actually. And that's why if you Click repeat here and make sure the check marks check so it automatically loops. Click play, you'll see it move in the same place. That's what register means. And I'll get more into depth about it later. How to like register single ones only and make that effective. But yeah. If you ever make a mistake uh, during animation, you click register and you don't know how to fix yourself or fix it. What you can do to reset yourself, you can you can click select all and reset and register, or you can uh, if you don't want to erase everything. Let's just say this is huge. He hasn't been here before. If you don't want to erase everything, you can uh, do select all, click register, and click delete here or do delete on your keyboard. That way, it'll go back to the the next the next. Uh, the next thing you have. They won't delete everything. Yeah. If I wanted to, I wanted to delete this, I'll do the same thing. Select so off, register, and then delete. Now to get to this waving animation. Uh, I'll make this quick. It won't look best because I'm making this a tutorial. But it's not like actually animating or anything. Just get it out. You know, uh, to make a good wave, just Drawing about right here. Oh, this looks bad already. Wow. Turn that a little bit. Okay. Put that there, and then. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. Well, uh, a tip also to know is that normally you can change the frames, like the frame per second, but normally the default is 30 frames per second. So if you wanted something to go really, really slow, you'd make it more than 30 frames because that'd be already be one second. If you want something to go really fast, you make it less than less than 30 seconds or really like a small amount of frames. That's the basics, just the basics for MMD. We'll get to other stuff like the facials and everything else later, really. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah, and comment any type of questions you have so far. Um, this isn't going to be the only video I'm making. I'm making like, several of these tutorials, but uh, 